Hi everyone, welcome to Fintech Academy. This is Harsh. Today I will go over and provide details about our certified Fintech QuickBooks Desktop Job Costing Specialist course. All right, let's have a look in that. All right, so let's have a look who is this course for. Our QuickBooks Desktop Job Costing course is for anyone who owns a contracting business. So if you are a general contractor or drywall or maybe flooring or plumbing or any of the contracting business, this is the course for you. Has been using QuickBooks but wants to expand its use for contracting industry. Unleash the power of QuickBooks and get hands-on for job profitability payroll costs, allocation, budgets, and more. It can be an asset for students looking for jobs, business owners, bookkeepers, or accountants for your own practice, and those needing a refresher. So basically, anyone who is connected with the contracting industry, for them, this course is dedicated, which will give you inputs on how to set up your QuickBooks and how to use your QuickBooks uh, so you get the maximum benefit for your business. All right, let's have a look at the next step, which is going to be what we will be covering in this course. Our QuickBooks Desktop Job Costing course for contractors covers everything a contracting company need to know and maintain in QuickBooks. No matter what type of contractor you are, a general contractor, HVAC, electrical, drywall, flooring, demolition, plumbing, masonry, as far as you do job costing, this course is definitely a yes. All right, let's see what will be the content that we'll be covering. First, we'll start with introduction to QuickBooks, QuickBooks Desktop and its additions, choosing the right QuickBooks Desktop for contractors, and then we'll be touching base on the accounting basic, which is the important stuff. Once we know a little bit about introductory part, we will straight away go hands-on with creating a new company file. Basic approach is to create a new company file in QuickBooks Desktop, difference between Express Start and Detail Start, customizing your company file Express Start way, customizing your uh, company file Detail Start way, and of course, hands-on creating a contractor's company file. Once we are done that, then we will be going ar getting around with QuickBooks, looking and learning about what the different functionalities of the software so that, you know, we, we start with the menus and the icon bar, the home page, what, what are the details available on that, the inside tab, what is it that we can see in there, working with windows, switching among, among open windows, the super max view when you need that in, especially when you're creating estimates, or creating invoices it's going to maximize your screen how and what are the benefits of that or maybe when you're entering a vendor bill which has quite a few items and we will also look at a valuable topic which is transaction windows ribbons all right so for the continuing we'll be looking at is setting up contractors chart of accounts so just not chart of accounts but how do we do specifically for contractors we'll be going through that acquiring the chart of accounts planning the chart of accounts creating accounts and sub accounts for contractors and of course modifying hiding deleting accounts and then designing a chart of accounts for contractors the hands-on exercise once we have done that we will be going through the item list specifically for contractors what are service or product items item types and sub items Exercise will be item list for contractors, which we'll be putting on hands-on. And of course, we'll be learning how do we, in case we need to uh, change the item name or if we want to delete an item name, how do we do that? All right, next after that is going to be setting up customers and jobs. Working with customer center, creating the customers in QuickBooks, creating jobs in QuickBooks. So basically we'll be doing hands-on the exercise about customers and jobs underneath that so that uh, when we are ready to put the transactions uh, for estimates or invoicing we have these customers available once we are done that we'll be going through and setting the vendors like working with vendor center creating the vendors in quickbooks creating hands-on uh, vendors for contractors and then learning about modifying hiding deleting vendors as well as in the portion of the customers all right then we start with the first change which is customer transactions that is a part one we'll be creating estimates uh, putting hands-on estimates for contractors we'll be looking at how do we handle or manage change orders in QuickBooks desktop once we are done the estimate we'll switch to vendor transactions creating the purchase orders 
how to handle the hands-on with respect to the entering the purchase orders, entering the vendor bills, linking the vendor bills back to the PO, um, and then paying the bills which we have recorded as a part of the vendor bills by which our accounts payable is going to be prepared. Thereafter, continuing uh, continuing still further on the vendor transactions, we'll be looking at, let's say if you have a situation when you need to write a check without entering the bills, how do you do that in QuickBooks and when would you need uh, such kind of situation, we'll understand that. Viewing the payables and bill tracker, a very valuable utility in QuickBooks desktop. Producing checks if you want to do check printing from QuickBooks. Entering credit card expenses if you are using credit card for your contracting business and you want to record that how would you do that once you have done that part then we'll be looking at recording the customer transactions the part two of that first we created the invoice now we'll be looking at the progress invoicing if you want to do that how do we do that modifying voiding and deleting invoicing thereafter we are receiving the money against the invoice right because it's a credit sale so we receive the money how do we record that transaction and if we are doing the next step thereafter uh, payments to deposits how do we do the recording deposits right once we have done and recorded those transactions now we'll switch gears and move towards bank accounts and credit cards handling bounce checks transferring funds inter transfer um, between accounts how do you handle that reconciling accounts so we'll be doing hands-on example with our bank reconciliation we'll be viewing the reports if you have to modify transactions while we are doing the reconcile or if you have to add a transaction or edit how do we do that uh, we'll be understanding that portion of over here once you have done that thereafter a big topic which is going to be about doing contractors payroll what is payroll we'll understand that first setting up the payroll schedule and payroll items um, we'll be setting up employees so basically adding employees or creating employees then we'll start paying employees setting up the time tracking creating the weekly timesheet paying employees based on the weekly timesheet, reviewing paychecks, and once we have done that, that is, you know, once the employees have been paid, now we have to remit the um, payroll liabilities or source deductions, whatever the term is, basically, yes, the portion of the taxes in the CPP and the EI, and with the contribution of the employers, right, how do you do that in QuickBooks desktop? Once we complete that, yes, we are ready for the year end. So preparing T4s and at the end of the year, if we need to prepare the T4 summary. And of course, the record of employment at any given point of time, those can also be done in the payroll. Right, once we have seen that, we'll be going towards budgets, setting up budgets because of the contracting, right? So you want to know the budgets, uh, budget overview, creating budgets for jobs. So how do we do that? And then we'll do a hands-on exercise of creating jobs. And of course, we will be looking at budget reports. So that is going to show us actually versus uh, budget and amount where do we stand and other reports related to that generating job costing reports a big one profit and loss by jobs if you want to find out purchase order reports open orders um, or closed orders by job subcontractors report that who are the subcontracts that we have paid and who are the ones who are unpaid estimates versus actuals by job because we'll be recording the estimates actual revenue versus actual cost by job so you get a clear picture that okay the revenue is so and so amount and against that this is the actual cost including everything all expenses bills for a job so let's say at any point of time you want to see I would like to find out all of the expenses and bills for a given job report will be available payroll costs per job so by job I would like to see how much is the payroll profitability by job item type that will also be there committed costs by jobs which is only for the QuickBooks enterprise if you have that you'll be able to see that job work in progress again only for the quickbooks desktop enterprise editions right guys so this is what the course is going to be which is dedicated to job costing if you have any questions or any clarifications certainly you can give us a call on 1833 learn qb or send us an email to courses at fintechsolutions.ca the course comes with study manuals uh, as well as certificate from fintech academy alternatively you can also visit us at fintechsolutions.ca for more details see you in the course soon thanks for watching